Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. I'm Chris and today we are going to see how we can create a timer app using Swift. As a base, we will use the project created in the previous lesson. In case you missed the previous video, you can find it on the link below. So, open Xcode and navigate to the view controller. For our app, we need to create three variables. One that will keep the number of seconds, a second one that will be a type of timer, and the third one that will keep the status of timer. Now it's time to create some functions. First, we will create the function runTimer where we will initiate our timer. Please keep in mind that time interval is the interval of our timer. Also, update timer is the function that will be called every one second since we set up our interval to one second. Repeats should be set up to true. Variable is timer running should also be set up to true. Second function will be function update timer. Inside this function, first of all, we need to make a check. If seconds is smaller than one second, then we need to invalidate timer. Else, we will continue reducing seconds and update the label accordingly. Our last function will be function time string. In this function, we will convert time interval to string. First, we need to calculate the hours, then the minutes, and finally the seconds of the time. Then we'll, we will return a string with a specific format. This format will produce a string with two digits per hour, two digits for minutes and two digits for seconds. In case we have less than two digits, a zero will be used. Now it's time to fix a spelling error we have made previously and also adapt label text using function time string. Now it's time to connect the code we just created to the storyboard. Open storyboard and navigate through assistant editor to the relevant view controller. We will remove IB outlet of button in order to use a more proper name. Also, the name of IB action will be changed. And the new IB action will be created. Previously created IB actions and connections needs to be removed. Let's create new IB outlet for the button. In order to connect our buttons to already existing IB actions, we just need to control and drag and drop from the button to the relevant IB action on the view controller. As you can see now, all actions and outlets look ok. Now it's time to add some functionality to our actions. Since our button will be used as play and pause, inside the run action we should make a check. If timer is not running, we should start the timer by just calling function run timer and set the image of run button to pause. In case timer is running, we need to stop the timer by calling the timer invalidate setting the variable is time running to false and also set the image of run button to play run 
reset action should be set it as following. We should invalidate timer. We should set variable is timer running to false. We should set image of run button to play. Variable of seconds should be restored to value 60 and label text should be set up accordingly. Also, we want to secure that play button will have the correct image when the app starts. In order to do so, we should copy this line of code to the function viewDidLoad. Now, let's run the app to check the results. As it was expected, app works perfectly. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please press like and consider subscribing. See you in the next video.